don't know where she came from Kinda turned me upside down I just don't know what to do Welcome back to another vlog, especially this moving vlog part two. I realized while I was editing that I didn't film an intro, so this is it. Welcome back. I'm so grateful for you. So enjoy this beautiful vlog that I've created just for you. And bring on one of my t-shirts so it smells like her perfume. Now I really get what the love songs are talking about. And I just want to tell her how I feel, scream it out loud. Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating and you can't stop Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? We made it to Ikea after a seven hour long drive and putting everything into the new place we're at Ikea now because my little niece, she loves pandas and she's got one at home, she got one at her grandparents and I saw that they have a tiny panda at Ikea. So let's go and get her this panda. So she's got a little buddy at our place too. Good morning, it is the next morning. I am so tired and at the same time really excited. Went to bed really late last night, I don't know. We just got distracted because there's so much chaos and I really don't thrive in chaos. When there's chaos, I just create more chaos. We had really great movers in Berlin, but then at the new place, the movers were a little bit more unexperienced, I want to say. It feels really messy because I don't know exactly where what is, so this is what we're going to do today. I have those patches on and I'm just going to... Um... Oh, you see, my brain doesn't work yet. I'm just going to put some lip balm on. Start the day. I kind of want to match it but I need to first organize a coffee machine. I will give you a proper tour and updates <laughs> along all the upcoming vlogs because it's gonna take a moment to understand what kind of style we want to furnish this place in. We went food shopping last night, like really late at like 9 p.m. just to get some baby things and I thought to show them to you because there might be interesting things or helpful things for you to integrate in your daily routine because they're all very, I think, health oriented, I realized. So let me show you quickly. First thing we bought was organic coconut oil for oil pulling. It's really, really good. It's so much better than using a regular mouthwash because a regular mouthwash is going to draw out all bacteria, the good and the bad, and this just takes out the bad. Natural with the mother apple cider vinegar for the stomach, we got some lemon juice we always buy these to put in our water to alkalize it and we also put a little bit of salt to mineralize it and we got this this is probably very unique german but it's basically something a juice that has iron in it and so i want to add this in my routine plus um, i'm going to get my period soon so it's really good to add some iron then we got some vinegar essence to clean we always dilute 50% of this with 50% water and put some essential oils and that's our cleaner we use some pineapple juice so we can drink our um, supplement then we've got some oats for mild and some lentil like kind of high protein lentil waffles that have basically nothing but salt and lentils so i love these as well and then We've got these just to try. They're kind of like a protein smoothie, I want to say, a protein shake, but they're sweetened with dates. Just natural sugar, so just sugar from the dates, which is really great. And they had it in cacao, like chocolate. And then they have a hazelnut. I'm not a hazelnut fan, but Mount loves hazelnut. So we thought we should just give them a try for like after the gym or something like that. And I think that's a little haul and now I'm gonna see if I can start unpacking some stuff. First thing first, coffee and coffee machine. This is the grind of the coffee beans. And these smell so right now I kinda really want a coffee bottle matcha. We drink at home decaf because when I stopped taking the pill, I really researched all kind of factors to get my natural rhythm back and I got it back really quickly. And one thing was to not have caffeine because it actually spikes your cortisol so your stress hormone and when your body's stressed it's not gonna put in any energy 
to take care of reintegrating natural processes, detoxing the liver, all of those processes are stopped because the body is like, <gasps> what is happening? Why do we need to be alert? What's going on? So we're doing decaf and matcha, for instance, has natural caffeine, it has more like a teen and it has alteni, which is the same energy of our, I think, alpha brain waves. I'm gonna put it here if I mess this up because I always confuse these, which is the state we're in when we just woke up or we just go to bed, when we just very zen and calm. So this is why matcha has this sense of giving you a lot of energy, but in a very calm and long lasting way. While with coffee, you will need another cup really quickly because it's a spike and then it's a drop. And so decaf and we grind them freshly with every cup of coffee we do. In my 80%, I want to make sure that I feel taken care of. I feel like I make great choices that are really easy choices to make, like things that I don't even have to think about in my everyday life anymore. And I know it's going to be something that supports me and not interrupts me. You can tell that I'm out of breath and it's just because yesterday was such a long day and my body is a bit like, what are you doing, girl? Can you just chill, get a matcha, relax, start it easy? And uh, I'm taking it very slow, very easy. I tell her, baby, please don't go. I think you should stay with me. And I, I really get what the love songs are talking about. I was like, I really got shot. But I put way too much of my side I think this is not going to be nice. Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating and you can't stop looking at her smile, then you've been in love. That's how you know you Little update, the living room so far and look how pretty the light is that comes in here. And we're waiting for a big mirror that is gonna go here and we need to have two new chairs as well. Got a little bit of decoration even up already. This is a bathroom which we're currently not really using besides to store stuff. We're sleeping on the couch because we decided to order a new bed, which is ordered, but not here yet. We put the clothes that we constantly use on the rack and you can see in the back here, we've got the frames that we didn't put up yet. And we have weights and like gym stuff here, lamps that we're not sure whether we're gonna put them up on here or not because they're hanging and the ceiling is not that high compared to our part in Berlin. Stuff that we don't have storage for yet because we still need to order a big closet but it's all kind of organized. We just need to press by. What I really love about this place is the big windows which is not quite easy to find here and the, I'm gonna put some pillows on here and then it's a nice reading spot. A little bike that you can fold for the train, for the commute for miles where and that's the bedroom situation, our <laughs> storage. Until we've got the bed, mattress, the mattress we actually got, we've got the mattress already. But until we've got the bed, we're gonna put the closet over there and then we're gonna just put in a bed and a little side table, put the pillows on the bench in front of the window. And that's it for this room. From the bedroom, you have this little entryway, which I prefer so much over this long hallway we had. This is the front door, bathroom, over there, the little pander we bought. And then let me just give you a quick update of the kitchen, because we don't have a kitchen yet, but I made it as cozy as we can. So we've got the dishes, a lot of storage, this is basically our kitchen right now <laughs> because we have the kitchen machine, the coffee machine, the fridge, and this is just a trailer because we want to put a little bar here to work and also when we do stuff in the kitchen. And I love this view and from here you can get to the balcony. This is our little kitchen add a little touch of Berlin this is a picture of Berlin and this is it I think it's quite cute good morning and welcome back we're already in our new place as you might can see in the background and I love all back from tiles and something really exciting just happened which is that a mirror that I ordered arrived 
it's a massive mirror and they didn't give me time to check if it was alright or if it was broken because they dropped it already in the stairway. I don't know, it's like horizontal, I need to go up and I don't think I can do it by myself but I'm going to check because I am impatient like that <laughs> and do it myself kind of go. I was really, really excited to check and I thought I'll take you along because as the weeks progress you will see more and more new home updates and I always love those myself and be inspired to make a place more cozy and aesthetic and beautiful so I will take you along the journey with me and so I'm just like just put myself a little bit together I felt so tired this morning the morning didn't start like planned and I thought okay I need to get myself a matcha I need to put myself together but still feel cozy so I'm wearing this really cozy jumper but I'm wearing like dressy pants let's go make a matcha and then check on the mirror I got my little matcha station I think it's so cute so got the coffee machine we've got it on this old sideboard because we don't have the kitchen yet but how cute is this little matcha moment I just don't know what to do I want to spend the night at hers And bring her one of my t-shirts So it smells like her perfume Now I really get what the love songs are talking about And I just want to tell her how I feel Scream it out loud Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath When you saw her in that dress? Your heart is beating fast and you're sweating And you can't stop looking at her smile Then you've been in love That's how you know you've been in love This is my favorite new matcha cup Actually for like the matcha therapies it makes sense Because you can actually see that I'm drinking matcha And I've got my milk And this is like the best part Look how pretty This literally makes me so happy, which is a good thing because <laughs> it's all the small moments in life that create life, right? But this does not make you happy. This is so pretty. I'm so excited to try this, but I'm going to put a little bit of agave in it to make it a little bit more sweet. This is risky business because I'm really always spilling my drinks. Okay, we've got the living room so far. And this is the big mirror. First things first, let's take a sip of the matcha. Um, this one somehow is better even than usual, but maybe because I'm tired today and just not the mood. Drink laps and the way she always dances when she thinks nobody sees. And when she's gonna miss her soul, I tell her, baby, please don't go. Okay, I had to put the hair up and probably I need to take the jump off because I'm getting ready to walk. And I need a little bit more energy for this. This is so hard. Who would have known that it's so hard to unpack this? Scream it out loud. Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart. A little update. There's just no way. I'm gonna be able to do this on my own. I mean, if it wasn't a mirror, I probably anyways try to do it. But it being a mirror and making it very breakable, it's just kind of a no. So I'm gonna go back to work and patiently wait for my husband to come home to help me. How you know you've been in love I don't know where she came from Kind of turned me upside down I just don't know what to do We're still sleeping on the couch but the bed is ordered Can you see this sliver of sun? That means starting to be sunglasses season again 
Welcome back to a new episode of Matcha Therapy. Each topic is making decisions and finding a process that makes it really easy to make decisions. It was actually Malo's idea because we found it a little bit harder than usual to make the decision to move out of Berlin to talk about this in today's Matcha Therapy because I know it's something that a lot of people struggle with in not moving necessarily but making decisions in general and that could be such a small decision of what to eat for lunch or what to wear to a really big decisions to moving countries or cities or even apartments. So I've got my matcha here and I just want to share with you a few points that I know really helped us to make this decision because when we made the decision to move out of Berlin a lot was happening in our life meaning we didn't really have much capacity to even think or feel into this massive change in our life. So I want to share three points with you. The first one is to understand why it feels hard for you to make that decision. To really just listen within you. Ask yourself, why do you find it hard? Specifically, ask yourself, what are you scared about that is going to happen when you make the wrong decision? The reason we find it hard to make decisions is because there is a fear-based energy within us. Our body, our brain wants to survive and so we look through life through a lens of fear in order to look at all the things that could potentially harm us or hurt us. It could be something like sh choosing an outfit you find it hard because you're scared to be judged. You're scared to be looked at in a weird way. Now when you know that you're scared to be judged, we can look at the real issue here and really focus on why am I scared to be judged? Who are these people that have the power to judge me? But if it's something more big like moving across countries or cities, it could be the fear of not being happy in the future or not being as happy as we're now. Which brings me to point number two. We cannot predict happiness and we cannot know what is going to make us happy in the future. We can have an idea, but that does not make it true. As we're constantly evolving, we don't know what is going to make us happy in the future because we're not an all-knowing being. We only have the wisdom of what happened to us in the past and maybe what we've learned along the way but in the end we cannot predict who we're going to be in six months time and what is really going to make us happy the only thing we know is how we feel now what makes us happy now so making a decision that is in alignment with that is the only way to step onto that path of potentially being happy with that decision in the future now the third point is more a process asking yourself what is the worst case scenario? Like what is the worst that could happen when I make this decision? So that's the key, that's the core is if the worst case scenario would take place, can I deal with it? Can I find a solution emotionally, physically, mentally? Can I deal with that scenario? Because if the answer is yes, there's nothing for you to lose. But you're thinking about this decision for a reason, right? This decision is a nudge, it's an intuitive nudge, it's an opportunity, it's a potential for a new different kind of future or a new beginning. So it's there for a reason. And if you then can deal with the worst case scenario, nothing can stop you really. Then the second question in this third point is what is the best that could happen? Does that excite you? Does that make you feel calm, collected, excited, happy? Feel into those emotions now. Because even if you make a list of all the good aspects and all the negative aspects, in the end, we are emotional beings. And it's the emotion that is going to decide whether that decision was a great decision for us or whether it's not a great decision because it could be that the path you're taking based on this decision makes so much sense, it's all logical, it's the next step. Maybe you are wanting to, that's a really good example, maybe you are wanting to be promoted in your job. I used to work in fashion and we had amazing designers and the thing is that when they grew and then when they would get promoted, they suddenly would become managers and that wasn't what they were passionate about. So logical, it would make sense for them to step up to take that promotion, right? But emotionally, it didn't because they would stop doing what they loved. So logic is something we can bring into decision making, but it's never really going to feel satisfying or true to what this decision is going to give. So just to summarize, what will help us to make decisions more effortlessly, more easy, more confidently is to A, understand why are we struggling to make this decision? Like what is the fear-based story behind making that decision? Then two is understanding we cannot predict happiness. We can't predict happiness, so why are we trying so hard to make a decision now that is going to bring happiness to us in the future when we don't know what is going to make us happy in the future? And number three is to check in with yourself. What is the worst that could happen and can I deal with it? And what is the best that I, 
that could happen and does that bring me joy that vision does that vision bring me joy now right now in this moment so i hope that really was helpful let me know if you want to know more about this receive more information about this i'm thinking of starting my podcast again at some point this year I'll go into so much more detail about with youtube i just want to make it a really quick moment with your matcha or your coffee where you can just listen to something that inspires you that can give you some information that might help you feel your best be your most confident self this all the points i've shared with you will work for you no matter whether you're more logical or whether you're more emotional driven in terms of your life your decisions and who you are at your core i hope you loved this vlog it was so much fun to film and so beautiful to document this special change in our life we've been feeling really at home already even though there's a lot a lot a lot of things that aren't ready in the apartment maybe this also gives you some inspiration to take that step forward to dare to change to listen within yourself to towards the decisions that might bring you a little bit of newness into your life that you might have been scared to say yes to so thank you so 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 much for watching for watching until the end it really means the world and it would really support my channel if you would subscribe like and leave a comment and it just feels so beautiful to be on this journey with you i see you in next week's video sending you so much love and light and yeah, i see you next week bye have you ever lost your head so it smells like her perfume?